Skyrim Community Guides. You've requested, I've complied. What is Finis? How do I install it? What else should I know? Those are the questions. This is the answer. For his new idols in Skyrim, Finis is a tool that comes with a set of easy-to-use animation behaviors. They allow you to create an animation mod tailored to your personal load order, as well as to be able to utilize a number of community animations. Finis provides a few important fixes that some popular mods require. Players, NPCs, animals and creatures can benefit from fours. It even allows for gender-specific animation. Throughout the video, when a manager or troubleshooting step is shown that doesn't pertain to you, feel free to skip it via the timestamps. The process itself is quite short. Before installing Finis, to receive the desired outcome, there are some topics to understand and consider. Finis requires that you have the game installed outside of the program files directories. A video on safely moving Steam installation directories is provided. Finis plugin load order is not important. The ESP only contains mod-specific assets and or copies of vanilla behavior files. The order that is important is the Finis output that we generate. It should load after every animation mod that you are using. To update Finis, completely uninstall your old version. All files from previous installations must be removed. Finis should be treated as if it was never installed before. View the uninstallation section of this guide. Fours is not compatible with mods that modify behavior files. However, Four has added numerous patches for these types of mods directly into Finis for authors who have asked to work with him. If you are an author, contact Four so that he can help make your mod compatible. Finis Creature Pack and Finis Spells, available on the Finis Nexus page, are not required for Fours to work. However, one allows animals and creatures to be capable of using new animations, and the other allows for a large part of what Finis provides on its own to function. Even if you do not use these add-ons, having them installed will not hurt your game. Navigate to the official Finis page, SE Nexus for SE users and LE Nexus for LE users. Links are provided. Download the most recent version of Finis Behavior. Unless you are certain that you do not need the additional archives, scroll down to the optional files. Locate the most recent Finis Spells and Finis Creature Pack. Download both of them. Open MO2. Open the Downloads tab. If the three Finis files aren't here, you may have to download them manually, then drag and drop them here. When ready, double-click the Finis Behavior Archive. At the Install Mods window, expand Finis Behavior. Right-click Data and set Data Directory. Select OK. Install Finis Spells. At the pop-up, rename the mod to keep it separate from the original. Name it whatever you like. Select OK when finished. Install Finis Creature Pack, rename it, select OK. Activate all three mods at the bottom of the left pane. There are two methods for launching the Finis Generator from MO2 the Tools drop-down menu, and the Modify Executables window. Due to the latter providing extra information after the output is generated, as well as allowing for a consistency check, that is the route we take here. The other method is shown in the Troubleshooting section if you have troubles. Open the Modify Executables window. In the title field type, Finis, or something similar. Select the ellipsis to the right of the binary. Navigate to your MO2 Mods directory. If you have forgotten its location, you can see the file path by opening the Settings window, then the Path tab. From the Mods directory, open the Finis Behavior mod. Open Tools, Generate Finis for Users. Double-click the Generate Finis for Users executable. Select Add, then close the window. Forms can now be found and run from MO2's drop-down menu. Finally, double-click to open Overwrite. Make sure it's empty. If not, drop the files here where they belong or create a new mod and place them in it. With Overwrite empty, launch Finis. 
first, a thank you to GP community member Yggdrizzle for his help with Vortex. I've linked his video channel if you'd like to say hello. It's because of him and his tutorials that I have ventured into Vortex. Open Vortex. Open the Mods menu. If the three finished files aren't here or in the Downloads menu, you may have to download them manually, then drag and drop them here. Install the Behavior Mod. Select Enable in the Notification message. If the External Changes window opens, select Confirm. Install Finis Spells. Enable it. Install Finis Creature Pack. Enable it. Select Deploy Mods at the top. Again, if an external changes window opens, select Confirm. Select the gear to the right of Actions. Ensure that Dependencies is activated so you can view the column. Open a dashboard. Select the vertical ellipsis within the Finis menu. Choose Edit. Select the folder at the right of the target field. Navigate to your game folder. Then open Data, Tools, Generate Finis for Users. Double click the Generate Finis for Users executable. Save the changes. Open Settings. Within the Interface tab, activate Run Finis on Deployment Event. Open the Mods menu backup. Select Configure Finis. Select the patches that you would like to use. I explain what the patches do momentarily. The patches that 4 has provided are for specific circumstances. Gender specific animations. Skyrim only has a handful of animations specific to male and female. However, some mods exist that add animations to work specifically and or differently for each gender. For mods like those to work, you need to activate this checkbox before running Finis. Skeleton Arm Fix This change fixes many arm animation glitches caused by the additional bones in custom skeletons. This patch checks for the actually installed skeletons, female and male, and applies skeleton-specific modifications to the behavior files. Mods such as XPMSSE require this. HKX File Compatibility Check and File Redirection HKX is covered in the troubleshooting section, and at least for this video, file redirection is not needed. The rest of the patches are for the specific mods that they are listed for. Never check a box for a mod that you do not have installed, and check all boxes for those that you do. Now that the patches specific to your load order are activated, select the Update Finish Behavior button. The message window will clear and then output what Finis has done for you. When you receive the message regarding the number of animations and mods that have been successfully included, move on to the next step. Consistence Check Select this button when the behavior has finished generating. This makes Finis check for mods with defined inconsistencies. If an issue is found, it generally provides an answer for how to resolve it. If you don't resolve the issues, you will most likely end up with something like the well-known T-Pose. If a solution is not provided, ask for himself. When finished, select Exit. Select No at the pop-up. Right-click Overwrite. Create Mod. Name the mod something along the lines of Finish Output. Place it directly lower in position, higher in numerical priority than the other Finis mods. This output contains all of the files that the generator created for your specific setup. Now that the patches specific to your load order are activated, save them and deploy mods. A new Finis data mod will appear. Give it a moment to enable itself. If at any point, now or when later adding mods to Vortex, a lightning bolt appears in the Finis Data Dependencies column. Select it. Set the Finis Data dropdown to After, then Save. That's it. As usual, it's always safest to uninstall mods before a new playthrough. If you have to, for a current one, launch Skyrim, dismiss any followers that you may have, and unequip your gear. Save the game to a new save slot. New is important. When finished, quit to desktop. Vortex users, don't do anything else yet. MO2 users, launch Finis. Select Deinstall Creatures. You must also deinstall creatures every time you uninstall a mod that uses creature animations and then reinstall Finis Creatures after the fact. Moving forward, select Yes at the pop-up. When you receive the message, Finis Creature Behaviors Deinstalled, select Exit. Vortex and MO2 users. In your mod manager, locate and delete the Finis mods. 
finished behaviors, spells, and creature pack. Mod organizer users delete the finish output mod. Vortex users delete the finish data mod. Then, within settings, deactivate Run Finish on Deployment event, and then, on the dashboard, select Remove on the Finish Vertical Ellipsis menu. The following files may already be deleted. Regardless what manager you are using, you should still follow along and remove what, if anything, is shown. Navigate to the SE Data folder. If there is a Tools folder, open it. Delete Generate Finish for Users. Arrow back once. Open Meshes, Actors, Character, Behaviors. Delete all HKX files that may be here. Arrow back to the Character folder. Open the Characters Females folder. Delete default female.hkx. Arrow back to Meshes. Delete the Animation Data Single File Text and Animation Set Data Single File Text. Finally, arrow back to the Data folder and delete any finished ESPs that may still exist. The last removal step is to uninstall all other mods in your load order that require Finis for them to function. Generally, you just have to delete them, but check the specific mod pages in case of additional instruction. When all Finis mods have been removed, launch Skyrim. Load the save that we just created. When the game loads, create another new save, being sure to use another new save slot. This is the file that you will use from here on out to play the game. If the following doesn't resolve your issue, links are provided for official support. If the original way of installing Finis to MO is not working, you can attempt this method. The initial steps are the same. Install Finis and its add-ons as previously shown. From there, in the left pane, we need an empty Finis output folder. If you already have one, right-click it, open in Explorer, delete the contents, close the window. If you don't have one, right-click in the left pane, create empty mod, name it accordingly. Open Settings, open the Plugins tab, scroll down to and select Finis Integration Tool. Make sure that Output to Mod is set to True. If not, double-click it. Click again, select True, select OK. Open the Tools menu, select Finis. Configure Patches. Select the patches provided by Finis that you would like to use. When finished, select Save. Open the Tools menu again. Run Finis. At the pop-up, select OK. Highlight your Finis output folder and select Folder. Finis will now generate its output. When it's done, double-click Overwrite. Drag any leftover files here into the Finis output mod. This method has the added benefit of being able to circumvent some rare but noted issues. The downside is that you can't directly see error messages or check consistency. If mods that require fours were not installed before you ran the generator or loaded before the Finis output, they won't work. Once you install new mods that require Finis, delete your original Finis output and generate it again, activating whatever patches you need. If Skyrim is installed to the program files directories, you may need to give the game folder full security permissions. Even if using a mod manager, some users may need to run Finis itself as admin. You can even run your mod manager as admin if needed. To do this, right-click the Finis executable and or the Skyrim game folder and or your manager executable. Open Properties. Open the Compatibility tab. Activate the checkbox for Run this program as administrator. Apply and select OK. Another note, the first time that I launched Finis through MO2, the generator crashed. I simply reran it again and everything was fine from there onward. Error 5 Access Denied. This message means that you have to run Finis as admin. Error 53 or 212, file not found. This message means that your antivirus program is blocking Finis. Add Finis to its exclusion list. If that doesn't work, there was an error made during the installation process. Uninstall Finis, then reinstall and repatch. However, some MO2 users have reported that this error was resolved by deleting the output, being sure that overwrite is empty, and then recreating their Finis output. 2019. Temporary directory does not exist. This can mean a few things. One, Finis needs to be installed to the game directory on your setup. 
2. You are trying to run Generate Finis for users from the archive itself. 3. Finis was installed incorrectly. Generator not run from legal Skyrim directory. This can also mean a few things. 1. The most likely reason is that you are using a cracked version of the game. 2. Skyrim itself may not have been installed correctly. And 3. You may need to launch Skyrim from one of its official launchers to establish system registries and then retry. There are a few potential reasons for the various animation and frozen glitches, including the T-Pose. The number one issue for this is when users have an error or warning message and have not resolved them after patching. 2. You are using a custom skeleton replacer and have not installed all of its requirements, or your load order for it is incorrect. Read those mod pages. 3. You could be using incompatible Skyrim LE behavior or animation files for SE, or vice versa. 4. Your game cache is corrupted. Open the Steam application, right-click the game, open Properties, Local Files, select Verify Integrity of Game Cache. Be aware that doing this will reset any files in the game folder that you have modified to their vanilla state, including updating the game to its current release. Furthermore, if you have T-Pose issues, you can try another step as well. Uninstall Finis using the previous section and then reinstall it. When you are ready to again update Finis behavior, first, activate the checkbox for HKX File Compatibility Check Skyrim SSE. If by chance your load order contains behavior, skeleton, and or animation files from the other version of the game, this can result in the T-Pose. This patch checks your load order for such bad files and informs you what they are. This is not guaranteed to fix the issue, but it can. The last bit of information that I have for you is that there is an animation limit with Skyrim that causes CTD on GameStart. 4 is working on a formula to help with this. When there is more information, he will inform everyone about it on his mod page. A special thank you to our Poet Lords, Watch Hill and Trotsky for their charitable contributions and support. Thank you to those of you keeping Gamer Poets a reality. I am Michael of Gamer Poets, and I hope to see you next time.